Hey, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tan Toes. I hope everybody's feeling blessed. And today I got a very interesting topic for you guys. So a few months back, I made a video called Why Anna Lee Choppa Stopped Talking About Spirituality. Although, recently more than ever, this channel has grown and evolved to a point where I can be myself. And while that last Anna Lee Choppa video was pretty surface level, today I am now holding back. Because truly, this is one of the most suspicious stories that I've heard in a minute. So I'ma simply break down to y'all the true reason and that Lee Choppa stopped talking about spirituality. So let's go back and start from the beginning. Cause we know NLE Choppa came out the gate with Shot of Flow. He blew up massively and he quickly became one of the biggest new gen rappers coming out of Memphis. Although this would all quickly change after a year and a half of having fame, NLE Choppa decided to take a straight 180. And he started diving deeper into spirituality. And anybody who was following rap at the time knows that he changed his entire lifestyle. And for the following months after that, Enelie Choppa would learn something very evil about the music industry. And that's that he's not in control of his own career. When you're a rapper who's reaching the masses and is signed to a label, there's a lot we don't know about how these artists are treated. Yes, if your music's up to par and you're willing to comply with these labels, they'll give you all the riches in the world. But if you go against what's being pushed, you're done. And in this modern day of rap, y'all know I'm not lying when I say if it's not low vibrational, it won't sell. You gotta be talking about something negative. You know, whether it's violence, whether it's heartbreak, whether it's drugs, it doesn't matter. But what you aren't gonna do is what NLE did. NLE rebranded his entire image. This was in August of 2020. He went straight Dr. Sabi. You know, he was giving us herbal formulas to heal our body, telling us to meditate, telling us to get sun. In reality, you know, just being real, he's somebody just like us. He gained interest in spirituality. He gained interest in a new way of thinking. Something a lot of people go through who question their surroundings or seek truth in the universe. The only difference between us and NLE is we're not signed to a major record label. But you know, for a minute, it actually seemed like it was working. You know, he was dropping new music. It was way different. It was more lyrical, a little deeper. The only problem was the album flopped. And you know, I don't mean 30K flopped. That shit went bronze. And when I was critically thinking about this topic, you know, of course I was thinking, you know, maybe he just wanted the money. Maybe he just was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go back to rapping like that because I want money. That would make sense if the next part of this story didn't happen because the next part of this story just makes me question so much about the music industry. Because suddenly, after literally changing his entire lifestyle preaching spirituality for almost a year, NLE Choppa was arrested. Now, I got so much to say about this. First off, he was arrested on a concealed firearm and a legal substance charge. And he would go on and claim that he was set up and the drugs were planted on him. He claimed this himself. He also said, they did this to me to paint a bad image because of the path he's been going down. We can't just ignore this. And Ellie will go on to also tweet that a group is coming after him and will call them the devil. Can you guys not tell he is talking about the music industry? These rappers and entertainers are getting paid millions. You think they control their career? No, the people paying them do. And the people paying them are constantly working to distract us and farther us from our higher self. So it makes sense why they would come after somebody like Anneli Choppa who is talking about what he talks about. And if you're somebody who believes that he was actually arrested, I understand, but listen, Anneli has never been charged with anything. It's common knowledge now that he's from the suburbs. You know, he was never on that time. You know, he ducked that young boy beef instantly. It's all an image. And with that said, what is going to make him after having a spiritual awakening commit a crime? He didn't do it beforehand. Why would he do it after a spiritual awakening? Plus the fact at the time he would preach about how he's sober to get caught with drugs. And it's like, all right, but if it wasn't yours, why didn't your boy stand up for you? You're the artist. You're the breadwinner. It's just sketchy. And I didn't even say the craziest part yet. Because listen. After he got arrested and his mugshot was literally everywhere, he will release two songs. Although, after a year of only dropping spiritual music and saying that he's never gonna make violent music again, ironically enough, he would get released and the two songs that he did drop were old NLE Chop. What did they do? What did they tell NLE when he got arrested? What really happened? You could sit here and say, nah, he just wanted more money. Aye, right, but is it a coincidence that he talked about spirituality for a full year got arrested, said that he was set up by the industry, gets out of jail after having this mugshot posted everywhere, drops two songs, 
both go insanely viral and never talks about spirituality again. I'm not saying nothing, but just think about it. Just think about it. These labels keep these artists in check. And if they want to act erratic and go against the agenda, they could ruin your image and take you off just as fast as you got put on. And for the people who are saying, nah, he just wanted to go back to making old music for the money, even that is selling out to an extent because you're going against what you believe to settle for the bag. Rather than standing on 10 toes, maybe he could have started a wave of rappers talking about that. And yeah, it's not popular now, but maybe it would have been popular in 20 years if he was the pioneer who started it but nope he went right back to the body subject material that everybody talks about what do y'all think do y'all think it's sus that he was preaching spirituality for a year straight got locked up dropped two viral songs and never talked about spirituality again or maybe I'm just overthinking it who knows but this is something that I picked up on right when it happened I remember all of this happening and I was like there's no way he got arrested that don't even make sense I looked into the charges and I looked into what he had to say about them he said they're lying they planted it on to ruin his image it's all just a reason to not get involved in this demonic music industry stay away from it he still got a good amount of streams he could have been independent and just making good money off his spiritual work and doesn't have to live that designer lifestyle some of these dudes have to plug back into the matrix because they live such a high fashion lifestyle they're buying designer everything bro it's od you don't need it it's od stop looking up to these celebrities because these celebrities Celebrities are puppets. You should be looking up to God and yourself. And I know I say it all the time, guys, but you can do anything you put your mind to. Stop following these trends and following what the mainstream media wants you to think is cool. They do not have your best interest. They want you to be distracted. They don't want you to know how much power you have inside of you. That's why I say you can do anything you guys want in your life. I mean that. It's just on you to say, I bet. How am I going to manage my time? How am I going to get this done? How am I going to transform into who I'm trying to become? You're in control of every decision you make. You can say no to a lot of things that you say yeah to. Quit wasting time. I'm telling you guys the story about an elite to help you understand the world operates on a low vibration and most people around you are not going to be on the same time you're on. But that's what could put you ahead as long as you lock in. You already are who you're aspiring to be. You just have to unlock that version of you. It's already inside of you. You just haven't achieved yet and unlike nle we don't got nothing holding us back from living our truth we're not signed to no major labels give yourself a pat on the back real quick but yeah man y'all gotta comment what you think man do y'all think nle was set up by the industry or do you think he he actually committed a crime and he decided to fall back off that spiritual stuff and hop back into the industry maybe he just plugged back in what do you guys think but of course it's your boy tan toes join the discord uh, peep the second channel that's coming soon. It's already made, man. I'm strictly talking about this deep shit, man. I, I can't just be talking about celebrities all the time, but I want to have a separate channel where I could just help y'all out. I'm going to make videos like, you know, what happens if you outgrow your friends, some deep shit like that, because, man, I'm trying to help y'all. But of course, man, shout out for all the love. Thank you guys for running up the baby video, the kids from the suburbs video, the Vaughn video, man. This shit is crazy. And if I could do it, man, any of you could do it, man. I'm just like y'all. But uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all, man. Be smooth, be cool, be patient. I'm out.